All right, I need to talk to you about a serious topic here about electrical devices and not buying cheap crap off of Amazon. Although I specifically mention Amazon, this applies to any online platform that sells no-name imported goods. This includes eBay, Alibaba, AliExpress, and Banggood, to name a few. I'm in my daughter's house working on electrical today. We've been replacing tons of devices throughout this house. The switches were all icky. They were 50 years old. All the outlets were brown and they needed to be replaced. And all the GFIs are just, they were filthy. So they all needed to be replaced and upgraded. And so I found a link for a three pack of GFIs on Amazon. So here's the situation. The other day I had installed this GFI here and there's a lot of wires in the box and I decided that I wanted to change out the box before I added another outlet here. So I went to my Home Depot and I got a deeper box and I came back to replace this, turned the breaker off, took this out and it was hot. And I'm not talking about warm, it was hot and it had no load on it. There was nothing plugged into it and there was nothing plugged into the downstream outlets as well. Everything was on the load screws. There was no load going through it. Nothing plugged in here, and it should not have been hot, and that really freaked me out. Now, the funny thing is I had just installed another one, too, in the master bathroom, so I went over there. Now, this one is on the same circuit. I came over here. I pulled that one out, and that one was not hot. Same circuit, same exact outlet came from the three-pack. This one was fine. The other one, which is on the other side of that wall there, that one was hot. They've been spending several months working on this house, doing the renovations, and I'm the one that gave them the link to these this three pack of GFI outlets. I can't imagine how I would feel if they had any kind of an incident here, let alone a house fire, because of a device that I had told them to buy. Now, ironically, the brand that we bought is called Faith Electric. Now, I don't think that this is really a manufacturer. I just think they customize the boxes for them because looking at the outlets, there's absolutely nothing on it that says Faith Electric or any other brand. All it says is made in China. The other thing to note is there's no underwriters laboratory, no UL seal on it. There is an ETL Intertech seal. I can't say that these are good or bad or anything. All I know is it freaked me out and you know, even though it has really good reviews on Amazon, I said, no, I'm taking these things out. I'm not trusting them. I got in the car immediately and I went right over to Home Depot and I bought a brand that I've been using for over 30 years, Leviton. Now, I'm not sponsored by Leviton and I know nothing about the company other than my own experience. Now, you can buy cheap ones on Amazon for $10 a piece, or you can buy these in a bulk pack at Home Depot that cost $12.50 a piece. Yeah, that's an extra 25%. I don't care. It's worth it. So the moral of this story, whether you're dealing with a renovation or whether you're just replacing a single outlet, don't cheap out on your electrical devices. These things are designed for your safety. There are some things you can buy from China, but here, go with the brand name. And you can get them on Amazon, but don't cheap out where it comes to your safety. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe and watch our new series, The Living Flip. Ooh. Look. <laughs> and that has inch and a quarter. It's a little one. That's all I